Welcome to J and J Studios. We're gonna be going over just basic videos and how to um, change some settings. This is video number one. Here we go. Oh, actually, this is gonna be video number two. I was gonna show you how to turn a laptop into a desktop by just hooking up a mouse and monitor to it. Easy. You got a USB uh, keyboard. You just plug it into the USB port here. This is if you have a bad monitor. So plug in there. You got a wireless mouse or a USB mouse. Plug into another USB port. Or a wireless keyboard and mouse. Plug in the monitor into the VGA port right here if you can see it be careful not to bend the pins no now it's HDMI and DV it's in 2023 that's the news Shoot. connections see that's why we're doing it see it's showing up both ways that's why we're doing it. If your monitor's messed up, mm -hmm. this could be another video. But if your monitor mess up, sometimes your computer does this automatically. So, so let's see if it's going to look like it's clone, set for clone or something. Now we're going to set it. We're going to set it as. Um, we're gonna set it as um, <laughs> expand desktop. Make this the primary one and make this the secondary one. Yep. Or you can set your laptop where you just close your lid and go off that monitor. That'd be another video. So I'm gonna try to keep my videos short. Takes a while to boot up. Yeah, uh, this is a pretty hot day in a camper. I turned into a little workshop. It's a five hundred dollars camper. It was not by a show when I got in. I just kind of made it uh, comfortable for when I can go out there and tinker. That's mouse is not working. Typical. Mouse is not working, so that's pretty much what it is. Just used to. Okay. Have to have drivers. That's why. The keyboard shows to be working, but the mouse is not working. So the driver. The mouse is over here. It's on expand. <laughs> it's already on expand. It's on expand desktop now. Forgot I already had it set for that, guys. I'm sorry. I ripped my video. Um, I guess we start over from scratch. I have a video on there on how to expand your desktop, so you can check that out. So it's pretty much the same thing. All we do is hooking the monitor to this laptop like we did the one other video. So it's pretty easy. All you do is hooking the keyboard and stuff to it. So Man. Okay, we're gonna show you a couple of tricks you can with use the your keyboard and mouse for your monitor. If your monitor is bad on your laptop, or your keyboard is bad on the laptop, you can use the mouse and a keyboard, just like a regular computer. Here's the setup, right here, guys. I did this for y'all. Pretty this simple. Is my little camper that I'm working on. Uh, just a USB mouse and USB key, uh, uh, keyboard. Sometimes. I don't come out here that much because I don't have no tools out here. I'm still working on it. So At the time. I just want to show you yeah. that you can turn your, use your laptop as a desktop by just plugging in a USB mouse and keyboard uh, to it and plugging it to a regular monitor. You have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. And um, I thank you for watching. Boxster, 
uh, computer repair. We're going to be going over uh, extending your desktop. Here we go. Uh, this you could do it on PC or laptop. Today we're going to do laptop. It's pretty much the same thing in Windows 10 or both. All we're doing is adding another monitor to the computer. So here we go. Okay, we're going to have to put the cable onto the monitor. Everything. It goes right here, it goes on the wrong way. Don't never force anything in there. It's hard to say, sorry. Uh, okay. Apologize. I think that's it. Okay. You have to unwrap the cable. Make sure it's plugged in here, it goes in one way. Make sure you screw the tabs in for one fall off. Also, you can also put a keyboard. Just plug it into your USB port for a keyboard or any wireless mouse and plug it into USB or a regular mouse. This is on a laptop. So here we go. Plug in your power to your monitor. Test your monitor. It's Acer. There it goes. Yep, it's working. Connected. Okay. What we do is sit down. That means the monitor is working. That's a good thing, guys. Um, like we said, it only go, this takes about a minute to the setup. Uh, most computers, almost all the computers and laptops has this, or you can use a HDMI, plug a monitor in nowadays, or a TV to it. Yeah. Use, right now we plug it into the v, VGA port. Yep. So it gets connected. You fire up your laptop or your computer. There we go. It's booting up. We pretty much get into Windows now. This part is five minutes and fourteen seconds. Okay, here we go again. <clears throat> to set it up software wise, you right click, go into display settings, click on that. Let it, let it, um, the sentence load. This is store computer. This is run uh, Windows 10. You got a lot of stuff on it. A little sluggish. So, what we're doing is extending. You can clone. You can extend. I'll show you all the tricks right now. We're gonna do cloning first. If it loads up. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. So you got two monitors showing up now. You got the detect button. Show only one monitor. We can go duplicate duplicate monitors. Two of the same thing. There you go. Yep. Both of them showing up now. The same stuff. It's pretty simple, guys. Or you can go extend monitors. I do that a lot. See the studio. See that? Changes. You go over here. Okay, this is one. You move that. And you set it's the than that one. the the height that of one. the monitors. And that's two. And you got a detect that's button. Two. It shows you which monitor is which. You can identify. That be yep. two. Click on that. Identify. That be one. one. Then you can hit so detect. There's a detect one that detects the no monitors. And then you exit this out. Now you are extended. So when you extend stuff, you can go like this and drag it up here. It's pretty nice, guys. It gives um, you more working I do it space. All the time I use it in my studio. All, I, all my PCs is expand, uh, expanding the monitor. I'll be using this side to play games, and this side right over here to um, kind of um, with my um, recording software and my my chat software while I'm chatting with other people, like Discord and stuff. If I have more workspace. So, it just, just pretty much how you do it, and um, it's pretty simple. <clears throat> so that's how you expand a, a PC monitor. All, um, it's pretty simple. You can do it on desktop or laptop. Yep, don't matter what kind of computer. You can use, uh, like I say, you can plug your a TV in with an HDMI and an HDMI port. Or VGA, it's some TVs right have right. it. HDMI port. Or S video. TV in right here. 
as an HDMI port, or you well, plug in your VGA. Or um. Pretty much what it is, guys. You have a wonderful day. Or Display you Port. A video you port. Subscribe. Click the notification bell, so you can get free notifications. And this is looking funny. You had a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. A display or other electronically modulated optical device that uses the light modulating properties. Hang okay, on, well, let me reset this. This is pretty much um, the breakdown. Or, other electronically modulated or LCD basis. LCD. Yep. Okay, we're gonna disassemble this. You can see what soldered at. We're gonna break. We're gonna start breaking it down. Backlight right here. Conductor. <coughs> LCD window. PC board. You can see all the... So here's a pin and head header. The sisters. Okay, we'll be um showing you some more stuff. Okay. Monster, we're gonna completely um, upgrade this computer, put a new power supply, and new video card. That's what we're doing today. You got a screw right here. You know, screw. We're gonna show you how to put the video card in. Model. Here we go. Okay, we're getting ready to put the video card in. We're gonna have to cut that loose or something. Let me just check and make sure what we got here. No, this is it right here. This is what I want. This one goes PCI. Okay, we want CPU. Okay, we're going to skip around until we find the right part. It's not good. Goes in. Plug this in right here. Here we go. Got a cable like just yeah, like that. Just stuck in somehow. You got a cable just like that goes into your uh, GPU. Got three cables laying around. This is how you install a um, GPU. Okay, we need this one here. Let's be plug in just like this. Red. You're gonna be a minute too to uh, find it. We had much light to go by, so just have to take okay. two of these. Let's still plug in your equipment. The screw here. Yep, here we go. This little plate comes out after you loosen it. And some of them don't have a plate. They have three. Uh, they have dip, uh, little screw holes for each uh, section. You just take out the little um, sliding um, back plate bars, I call them. Um, we got a different name for that than that. But um, sometimes this will take up two slots. 
these turns out right here. We have to find which one matches the the slot for the. Here's the where it's gonna be plugged in right here, and it got a little uh, latch right here. So you you push it down and it latches. You can hear it. Make sure it's seated right. Then you put your screws in. Video card. Some takes two and some takes one, like this one. We want to get rid of probably this one. Right that here. one and that one, both of them. So just a second, guys. You might have to break this right one out. What you do is you put it in here. It clips down, and these thing only goes in one way. It clips in. Then you put this back on. After you knock this out. Some of some of them takes a screw here and screw there. And you tighten it down. Then you plug these in. Uh, this right here, then it should be up and running. Pretty simple. Um, so if you got any more questions, read your instruction book. Click and click. We want this one. So we want this one right here. There we go. That's how you install a GeForce uh, graphics card into uh, in your computer. A regular graphic card just slides right in the slot, and you can just screw it down. There we go. We should be able to fire this up with that, and it should work. That's how you do it, guys. Now you just tape this off, and you got it. Okay, it's in there. That's how you do it, guys. It's been upgraded to a 500. Uh, 500 watt hard uh, power supply with next. Okay, next we're gonna be breaking down a graphics card, yeah, video yeah. card. This your deep video hookup. It's like the one we just now installed. That's the HDMI or your um, D video. So um, I'll show you everything you need to know in the video. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Software's kind of sucks. Your G your CPU underneath these heat sinks. This your cooling fan, yep. That's your top cover of your fans. External quarter printer circuit. DV. Yep. Yeah. Oh, stupid storms trying to come in. That's your cooling fans. That's your heat sink. GPU. Processor unit. Horn. Pan is circuit VR virtual RAM. Virtual I think, yeah. PCI Express Yeah, that's the V RAM right there. Right. Then you got your display ports. Yep. Power connectors. And this is your um, plugins for your, you know, power. And this is your. Mhm. Mm and that's it. That's it. Broken down on different layers.
So right here is pretty much your um your H your pretty much your um hookups for when you hook up your monitors. This is pretty much moderate. I just wanna throw that in there. And um and we pretty much done. That's one of my videos, one of my videos, one of my videos, at least my videos, a uh, few of them. Um, here we go, we're going to go ahead and this. Thanks for watching.